Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, we need the transformation stuff. And this, I'll show you this shit. Check this shit out. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look, Andrew complains about all the people blocking him in pictures, right? I only complain when some fucking giant gorilla blocks half of me. Oh, that looks good. That looks good, dude. And you, I'm sure you look better in real life than what this is going to capture. Because you don't get the, the depth perception in pictures. Yeah, I think you look great. You're looking great. Yeah, back's looking nice. good. I got some juice on me. Hey, yeah, that's good. Your legs look good, but it's like your upper body is just posed so much better. That looks awesome. Well, you look good. How far out now again are you guys? Oh, is it eight weeks? Eight weeks. Are you eight out or six out? Both. 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 Oh yeah, because you oh, got yeah, one six. at six and one at eight. Yeah. yeah. Two shows, and we're gonna be there, so it's oh, gonna be awesome. Yeah, end up doing both. Uh, Selling so tickets for a party bus going down to both shows. Yeah. Jim rented a party bus. <laughs> um, I think so. we're gonna uh, start a, a Facebook uh, like event. Yeah, that's cool. And it'll give yeah. everyone details if you want to come out and support. That's a good idea. So. Good idea. You want to check this out, John? Because I got kind of booted from Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, cause I'm going to put Val here. on and see if she can fix yeah, it. Look at this picture of us. That was before we started the prep. This is before prep. Before prep. That was like 16, 17 weeks out. You got Andrew looking like a grizzly. Like, like I just won the hot dog eating contest <laughs> in New York. Oh, you know, yeah, it's a big difference. I got a bunch of video from then to now. Chubbs. So we're going to link it all together and make one video. Past, I've been known so what do you what, have you learned anything so far, oh, or it's yeah. just old hat for you? No, no. I mean, this being my prep for my first show, I mean, I'm learning so much about my body because I never took like the diet as serious because I was always, you know, burning so many calories as far as you know, running track and doing the USA bobsled stuff. So it was more athletic performance rather than looks right so, right um it's, it's is it a big difference between the aesthetic and performance training um, primarily for one i always i always like to look good while i was training too so i would always throw in some accessory like bodybuilding stuff anyways but um i think doing that specifically and only that has definitely it's definitely been a transition because um you know you're not necessarily going to failure every single time that you're doing uh, you know, power clean or, you know, Olympic lifts or uh, some squats. I mean, when I'm working out with Andrew, I mean, we're going balls to the wall every single day. Um, so it's definitely, it's definitely a different type of training for sure. Yeah. A different kind of stress? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was always training for speed, power, um, and being as strong and as fast as possible, whereas this is, this is just you know, total hypertrophy training. It's just get the muscle as big and hard as possible. So um, it's definitely a different different type of training. What about nutrition? Is, is it a big difference, your um, diet? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I was eating a lot of carbs. Um, previously. Previously, yeah, and then I've, I've definitely been cutting it. I can still, I feel like I, I have a fast metabolism, and metabolism, and I feel like I can, uh, I can stay leaner, um, but I, I'm still cutting carbs for sure. I mean, I'm only like at 100 to 125 of carbs a day. So, um, you know, I think that's been like kind of my sweet spot. Cause Do you know where you were when you're training like for USA Olympic stuff? As far as carbs? Yeah. I have no idea, man. I was Just probably, lots? I was probably eating, you know, four or 500 grams of carbs a day. I mean, it was... And it's still not really excessive. No, 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 yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of a lot of the food that I was eating was protein, anyways, because um, I was, you know, I wasn't necessarily trying to you know, look fat, with, you know, blowing up with carbs or anything like that. Um, 
a lot of it was just to fuel my, my workouts because back then I was doing two a days. So I would do sprints in the morning and then train in the afternoon and after work. Um, so that was uh, it was just a little bit different. I'm not saying like every now and then I'll do like morning cardio. I'll do two sessions um, with, with bodybuilding, but uh, I think uh, just different different type of training. But both, you think both are draining in their own way? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it was it was draining for me because it wasn't just the the training that was draining for like the bobsled skeleton thing. It was how do I fucking push this thing? <laughs> like no one just knows how to push a bobsled or skeleton uh, sled or anything. Like you probably don't even know what skeleton is. I don't. It's a uh, it's a one person uh, like sled that you go face down on your stomach. And you're going like 80 miles an hour um, around about a mile of course it goes down the mountain um, and you're hitting like four or five g's going around turns that's wow four or five g's is probably it's close to a fighter jet pilot wow um yeah it's it pretty crazy but um yeah i mean it's uh that was draining in and of itself like the the runs that you would go through because you can only do two or three runs going 80 miles an hour four or five g's of force so um, then you have to train on top of that, so it's, it's a different type of training. They're both exhausting <laughs> if you're doing if you're working hard enough. So, gotcha. Yeah. But, All right. So that's an awesome perspective, man. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. a lot of people think that bodybuilding is not athletic. Oh no. I mean, it's it's definitely definitely is. I mean, you have to be an athlete. I mean, it's just your end game. Your goal is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But similar ways, you got You still got to push your body and beat your body up to uh, get yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, there's, I mean, very, very few people I think that could, like, make the transition and still have like the intensity. You know what I mean? Cause yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, either way that you put it, I mean, those guys, I mean, guys at the top level, um, in bodybuilding, I mean, they're they're training twice a day. They're, you know, if not, they might be doing more than you know an Olympic sport because. They have to have everything to a T as far as their diet and you know supplementation, all that stuff. It has to be to a T. Um, you know, when I was doing stuff for uh, uh, the Olympics, I I could be okay, you know, having a little bit more carbs, you know, one day versus the other. Um, it wasn't like a make or break thing. It was all based off athletic performance. So um, it's kind of hard to you know, translate that from bodybuilding, whereas like if I have 200 grams more carbs one day, it might, you know, make my workout better or worse. I might look better or worse. You've got to figure out what's, you know, for your body, what works for you. So. Awesome. Well, we'll have to come back and revisit this another time. Oh, so yeah, I'm sure it's very sure. interesting to many people. Definitely. All right. Thanks, bro. Yeah, man.